When I wrote Snow Music, um, that book started, I took our dog for a walk on a snowy morning. And our, he had, he was a very energetic dog. And for every two steps I took down the road, he was back and forth a bunch of times. So he had, you know, all these foot, oh, oh, oh and there were tire tracks that had gone down the road two sets of tire tracks, so it wasn't quite like a music staff because there were only four lines, but still his little dog footprints going back and forth, I thought, oh wow, that, that looks like a music staff. And, um, and then I just started thinking about, um, what did I start thinking? I, st I started thinking how it would be fun to make a little movie uh, with different animals moving through the snow and having music that would match kind of like Peter and the Wolf, but without that story. You know, we have music match their kind of movement. So I had that thought and then I let it sit for a long time. And then I came back to it later and I, I just started um, drawing. I started drawing, I think, I, I think the first thing I drew was the squirrel. And I, you know, I was kind of in, in between things. I didn't know what I was going to do next and I actually just found it really fun to draw every hair on the squirrel. <laughs> it was kind of calming to do this really detailed little squirrel drawing. And I was at the time looking at a squirrel outside our window and I don't know where it came from, but, but the words, oh, I know, you know, part of it was that they had, um, I'd heard something on the radio about how squirrels don't really remember where they left their nuts. They just, you know, keep looking. And I think there are different theories about that. But I was watching the squirrel jumping around and the words, I think, I think I left it. I think I left it here somewhere. <laughs> and it just kind of popped into my head. And that started, that was, I think, a pivotal moment in that book of, of what the book was going to be about. And um, I remember watching Snowfall and wondering how you would describe that sound that's almost not even a sound. And, and I thought of, like, it would be a whispered sound with no, it was like, peth, peth, peth was the the word I came up with, and I just filled a whole page with path, 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 and then at the end of the book, when I decided that at evening when the snow falls, it would be sort of backwards, but not quite. Instead of path, 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 it would be fap, fap, fap. <laughs> it would be a slightly different sound. And you can tell that I live in a really small world because to me, this just seemed like, it's brilliant. <laughs> I felt really smart when I thought of making it be fap, fap, fap at the end of the day. But it, it, you know, once you start thinking that way, things start, you start seeing things that way. Like when the, when the snow plow comes down the road, you know, you can think of the different sounds that it's making. And, and when you're sitting in the car with, with your kids and they're putting their finger on the window and it's, you know, that's part of the sound of that kind of day too.